we present HAT, Head-Worn Assistive Teleoperation of Mobile Manipulators. Teleoperation of an assistive mobile manipulator could enable an individual with motor impairments to independently perform activities of daily living without the help of a caregiver. However, limited motor function can impede one's ability to efficiently and effectively control a robot through traditional interfaces. The contributions of this work is as follows. One, we introduce a novel assistive interface with inertial measurements integrated into an everyday clothing article. Two, we present how this head-worn interface can enable teleoperation of a high degree of freedom mobile manipulator using only residual head motion. Three, we evaluated this wearable interface with 16 able-bodied participants and two participants with motor impairments and showed that the interface enabled participants to complete self-care and household tasks with low error rates, high perceived ease of use, and low workload measures. Signals from the interface are communicated to the mobile manipulator and mapped to velocity commands for the robot's actuators. Speech recognition is used for selection of four robot modes, drive, arm, wrist, and gripper. As an example, the arm mode mapping works as follows. As the user pitches their head up along the x-axis, the robot's arm moves up. As the user pitches their head down, the robot's arm moves down. As the user tilts their head to the right along the y-axis, the robot's arm extends. Lastly, as the user tilts their head to the left, the robot's arm retracts. During the human study, all participants were asked to complete the four tasks shown, cup retrieval, trash pickup, blanket removal, and leg cleaning. Shown is a healthy participant completing the blanket task where we can observe mode switching using speech recognition. Switch to gripper. Gripper. Uh, switch to arm. Switch to drive. Displayed are videos of the two participants with motor impairments completing the blanket and trash tasks using the head-worn interface. Our results from a study with both able-bodied and participants with impairments show that the head-worn interface is both intuitive and efficient, allowing users to perform a variety of tasks with few errors. The interface presents individuals with impairments with a strong alternative to conventional teleoperation platforms. The paper, build instructions, and code for the HAT interface can be found at the website shown. Thank you.